This is a really handy little portable NAS. It's a QNAP Q Genie and it comes with, despite the size, it's not very big at all. It has a 32 gig SSD built in and you can actually expand that out to two terabytes, either using SD cards or external USB storage, which you can see there. So that's really handy. It's got seven major features, so one of which is the personal cloud, so you can access files remotely if you need to. You can, if you've got an existing QNAP Turbo NAS, so one of the larger units, you can copy your files to and forth from this just with the touch of a button. It's a simple three-step process if you want to transfer any of your Android or iPhone contacts to the NAS so you can save them, never lose your data again. And you can also charge the QNAP and your phone with a single adapter. So they both plug in and then powers both of them, which is really excellent. Now, as it has all the other features of a NAS as well, so you've got your encryption, you can use it as a wireless access point. So if you want to not use your phone data or if you need Wi-Fi or if the Wi-Fi on your phone's not that good, you can have the QNAP connect to a network and then you can turn it into the wireless access point and then your mobile phones can connect to that from there. It's light, it's small, it doesn't cost a lot. It's only $119 from M-Wave and it's a really good, easy to use little device. You just need to get the Q file up so you can see there's a QR code here. If you can't find it on the store, you can find it instantly. And then you can access all the features there straight from your phone or your iPad or your Nexus if you're using an Android tablet. It's easy to use. It's got simple storage, doesn't cost a lot. And it's a great little portable NAS unit for any solutions that you might need. Now, if you've had to format your phone or if your, fo your phone's crashed for some reason or if you're bought buying a new one, and you're transferring the SIM over and you realize, oh, I've lost my contacts and you have to go through and you have to message people on Facebook, message people on Twitter and say, hey, this is my new number, or hey, can I get your number again? You know how difficult and how painful a process that is. So if you have a little NAS like the Q Genie here, then you can save all those contacts. You can have them all backed up and then you don't have to worry about going through that pain ever again. And the same can be true for your files if you want, like your movies, your photos, you know, important documents, invoices, you know, contracts, anything that you need to keep saved that you really can't lose, tender documents or things like that. It's important to have a NAS, but the value of this one is that you can take it with you. So you can use this, you know, copy stuff from home, bring it on, it's almost like the size of a little passport drive, actually a lot smaller than that. And then you can take it to work, back stuff up, copy it over, copy it back, take it home. You know, you can fit it in your pocket if you really want to, you can slot it anywhere in a bag. And then if something happens, if you suffer a power surge, or if a computer dies to a virus, or you need to format it, or you know, the graphics card dies, or you can't boot into Windows, you've got your file saved. And that's, you know, worth a lot a lot of time, a lot of money to people, and it's important to have a solution that gives you that security, and the QGenie does that. Well, yeah, there is a, the other thing as well, is if you want to use it as a traditional NAS, apart from having the 32 gig SSD, it's also got an inbuilt media center. So if, say, your TV, you want to watch some movies or something, and your TV doesn't support the file format, then don't worry, because the QNAP can transcode the files on the fly, and then you can just sit back and watch in peace, you know. So it's useful to have that functionality, to have that ability in such a small, tiny, useful little unit. So that's it for the QNAP Genie. If you like these videos and you want to see more of them, please hit like or the subscribe buttons below. And if you have any questions, or feedback or other things you'd like to see from QNAP or anything else, let us know in the comments. Thanks so much.